Hello friends, it's Mary Core. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have not one, but two boxes from my um, subscription to the stationery selection. Um, instead of doing just a regular unboxing and showing you each item and then moving on, I wanted to do it a little differently this time. So as you guys know, she puts in a little paper with this, a description uh, for each item. So I kind of just wanted to go through each one because I know that she thinks about each item individually. And so I wanted to give a little more time and appreciation for each item. So this one's the August one. And this one's a July one. So we'll start with July. So this, so this is from Kokyo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it says in, on here, as it writes on the package in Japanese, capless portable scissors. I have included portable scissors in the past and they are a staple in all of my pouches. I hope you find these ones useful. I am so excited that she put this in here. Let's open it. Nice slim design. I think all you gotta do is, ta-da! I really like these because it doesn't need a cap. So the ones I have, the ones I have in my pencil case is, this is just a pair of scissors from Daiso. And then I like that it's also slim and portable, but there's a cap that you could lose. And it's like, and this is how it looks like. So I really like that. I like the color for one thing. I like that it's really neutral. And I like that there's no cap to it. So you just, it's really easy to use. Nice. Okay, next are, it looks like another stamp, another stationary selection stamp. And this is the original rubber stamp 003. This design was created by my husband. He is very much an outdoors person. I suppose all this time indoors had made has made him yearn for the mountains. The bench has the kanji right here, See, which says the same kanji on the flip side of this info sheet. Oh, okay, so it's this kanji that is on the stamp there. Nice. Cool, we'll try that out. And then I think this is another stamp. The Kodo Mono Calc Circle Stamp. A very simple yet versatile stamp. You can use it to decorate a page by using a subtle ink color or use it to highlight the date and weather on a journal spread. I hope you have fun with it. So this, this really would really look good layering on another stamp. Hmm. So this is a ink pad. So this is Suki Neko Brilliance Dewdrop in the color Galaxy Gold. And she's also mentioning if you use this with this stamp, so it's probably like kind of like that color. It looks like the beautiful moon. We'll try it out at the end. So this is a new thing for the stationery selection. They have now an original washi. And it says, this washi is a scan of a paper collage that I created for my junk journal adventures. I glued some paper bits together and I thought it would be fun to pass it through the sewing machine to add some texture to it. I thought it would be a good design for layering as the colors are more subdued. I can already tell I'm probably gonna like this. <laughs> and the fact that the color is pretty subdued. Oh, nice. So you 
can see it's really subtle had a lot of an intricate layered collage design I really like it Jim masking tape book. As showcased in a journal with me video, this booklet includes washi sheets that you can use in various ways. In the video, I use a stencil that is included in the booklet to cut out fun shapes to decorate my journal spread. So if you guys didn't know, the stationery selection box is made by Mitz and her husband. And you can find her on YouTube. Her YouTube channel name is My Life Mitz. So here's this masking tape book. So there's five designs and there's two of each one. Oh, nice. This will look really nice and if you like to collage, all the colors are really vibrant. Ooh, I really like this one. Nice. And this is the stencils. This is the stencils like this. Cool. And the last item. Well, I guess this is this is a little goodie. Ooh. This tea is just a treat for you to enjoy while you sit down and enjoy life's simple pleasures. <laughs> That's nice, it's a little goodie. Japanese tea. And, ooh, this is exciting. This letterpress studio in Osaka, Japan, Oeda. So I've seen a lot of stationery stores with this company's papers in their inventory. That's like a new item, it's new and the hot stuff coming out. So in her description, Mitz says, I am very, very excited to be sharing this collaboration with you. Handmade with love from Osaka, the creator is pretty much a one man show. This was months in the making and I am very grateful that she created this exclusive letterpress sticker set just for you. How exciting. So there's stickers. That's adhesive back. Oh, these are really beautiful. Wow, she gave us a lot too. It's like a sampler pack. How nice. Yeah, let me. Ooh, this one's a different color. It's like a like a light brownish. Wow, these are really nice. They're so pretty. It's funny with things that you're really excited to get because you get really excited to use them. Like right now, I'm really excited to use these in my journal, but I am also afraid to use them because I don't want to use them all up. <laughs> but I know I'll end up using them, but I know I'll be sad once, they, once my stock gets low, but I'm very excited to use these. Thank you, Mets. And there's the Instagram if you want to check her the artist out. So that was the July box. So oh, I guess we could check out these stamps. I kind of want to see what they look like. I watched James do an unboxing of this and I saw him 
stamped this one with a gold and then this one on top of it with black and it looked really nice. So I kind of want to try that. All right. So this is just the Traveler's Notebook insert. a while to dry. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, well, my finger a little bit. Let's wait for it to dry. I wonder if I closed it. Oh, not bad. Didn't get on the other side. Okay. So let's try to use this one with the black on top. So this black ink pad actually needs some re-inking. It's getting a little dry. Look at that. Probably need to get a more opaque black one, but the gold still shines through the black a little bit, but that it might be because I have some dry ink. That looks really nice, huh? Okay. Okay, so the next box we have is the August one. Let's start with this. This is the Midori Weather Stencil Bookmarks. Ultra thin stainless steel 0.1 millimeter bookmark marker that does not interfere with page turning and writing. The intricate stained glass design adorns your pages, but also acts as a stencil to document the weather in your journals. Oh, how cool. So this is, let me take this out of the packaging so there's no glare. So this would be sunny, rainy, cloudy, and snowing. Too bad I probably will never use this last one because I live in Southern California. It's nice to have. Wow, these are really thin. I'm scared to break these, they're so thin. There you go. Wow, they're like, you can see you could like bend them so I'm s I like that they're really thin, but I'm also scared that they're pretty fragile. <laughs> so this is how you would use them. Oh, I like how they sit really tightly on the page too. They're nice. Okay. Ooh, this looks like the stationery selection original pin 001. Our first original pin. We all know how people in the planner community enjoy using pins on their pen pouches, so I thought it would be fun to create a pin of our logo. Oh, cool. I do have pins on my Delphonics pen pouch. Let me show you. I have this one and this one, so I could probably add this one on here. Yay! So this Canmido Sticky Fusen, a roll of sticky notes built into a chapstick style case. With a sleek and slim design, you can easily pop it into your pencil case without adding much bulk. The width of the sticky note can be adjusted to fit your planning needs. We hope to bring some refills and possibly other designs to our online shop. Stay tuned. Interesting. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen something like this. But let's see how this works. According to this picture here, 
Looks like it just comes out like a roll. Just open it like this. Oh, here's more instructions, I think. is what it looks like. And it's like a little perforated, you can see. So you can choose, it's like, um, you know those paper towel rolls that you can choose a size? It's kind of like that. Nice. I wonder how much is in here. I wish I could just pull it out and then roll it back up, but I'm a little scared too. That's what it looks like. Oh, cool. This is the Kokio Dot Liner Tape Runner. One of my all time fave tape runners, but in the slim pen style. This clicker type tape runner allows you to press quickly and use quickly. Due to its pen style shape, it can be stored neatly in a pen case or pen stand. So I'm excited for this too. Of because of how slim the design is. Looks like you have to press it at the top. Oh, okay. So, just like that. And then the roller's right here. Nice. I like that it's so slim. The dot runner I have now is the Tombow one. But it's, you know, pretty big compared to this one. This is gonna be nice for traveling, for putting in your pass and not taking up too much bolt. I wonder if they sell refills for this. I hope so. It looks like they do since they kind of have directions on how to refill it. Oh, exciting. Okay. This is the wide open pen pouch. This is the Lihit Lab wide open zip pouch. I had got the I got it in the color black. So it looks like it's had uh, different colors to send. Um, a functional pen pouch made using a Japanese canvas style Fuji Kinbai. This pen pouch holds approximately 20 pens. The fun zipper layout allows the pen pouch to open widely, making it easier to locate your writing utensils. Ah, okay, cool. So I like how it's pretty slim and it opens at the top like this. Let's put some pens in here just for example. Let's see, I have a Muji pen and my Pilot Kakuno. Oh wow, it's pretty um like long compared to these pens. So you could definitely put a lot. I like how you can open it up like this and you can see everything in your pouch as opposed to a pouch that would open this way. And then you kind of have to dig for all your pens. <laughs> dig to see what's even in there. So this is nice. You can see everything that you put in there. And this, this, this. And it just opens and lights flat, flatly. Nice. I like that I got the black. Oh, it's also a, a button here. Last but not least, ooh, this is a Mitsubishi Uniball 1 in 0.5 millimeters. The newly developed Uniball 1 ink uses a new pigment that, unlike general gel inks, minimizes the penetration of ink into the paper fibers. This makes your writing a lot more vibrant and easier to see. Interesting. 
has this nice clip here. I guess let's try out the, the ink, shall we? So I wonder if this does like less feathering because it's saying it minimizes the penetration of ink into paper fibers. Oh, that was really smooth. So if you can see it, it looks really nice. Let's try it compared to like a Muji pen. Muji gel pen. So as far as like feathering goes, I, can, I mean, I really, can't tell the difference, but it does look a lot more opaque than the Muji one. Wow, it's nice and dark. It does write a little smoother, I feel like, too. Cool. So I think that is it for the July and August stationery boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions on next time I do one of these things. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.